All right, while changing brakes, uh, first step, we were taking out the lugs and realized these lug nuts were spinning, which is not the lug nuts itself, the lugs, the studs were spinning as well. So the studs are loose from the hub. So how do you take it off in this scenario? Usually you can break it off if the wheels are flush, but these wheels are not flush. So we need to do something to take it off. So we're gonna attempt taking the axle nut off and see if we can do it from there. A right, massive 32 millimeter socket. Torque on this 32. All right, now this is out. Now we have to go back and see if we can undo the four bolts that are holding the knuckle from the hub. Let's see if that's possible. I wonder if I take these now because it's still not going to have enough clearance to clear the brake pads to pull out. So, what are we going to do about that? Okay. As you can see, almost all the way drilled through another eighth of an inch to go, and then hopefully this will snap off. Even at this point, it should if we put some impact on it. Finally, was able to drill the studs out. As you can see, that we just cut the cap off and then basically drilled the pilot hole and then followed with the bigger drill bit, and it snapped. You can see the pilot and the bigger drill finally snap. We can take the wheel off now, take the hub out, chain the stud or replace the whole stud. That's what it takes to remove a spinning stud along with the spinning lug nut that the wheel would not come off. So we had to drill this entirely off. This is a Nissan, but I'm assuming this is the case for pretty much any other car. So time for replacing the hub. Pulling tighter when everything's together. Yep. We'll take the old rotor off and we'll flip it with a proper rotor.